Hello everyone. I'm the lightning cat. Excuse me while I stretch. Oh! Excuse me. <laughs> right. While I'm laying here in bed, the thought occurred to me. I should go ahead and make a vlog outlining the part about games that no one in the industry has thought of and how it relates to the Declaration of Independence more specifically that excerpt that I've talked about in a video where I was in Minecraft the, the excerpt is we hold these truths to be self-evident yes meow that all men are <clears throat> created with certain inalienable rights and that among those rights are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Now, gaming. When you sit down to play a game, you want to have fun. That is the pursuit of happiness, which Balto is exercising by getting me to pet him right now. Yes, throw in a little comedy. Right, okay, so... Gaming is a, a product and a service to that pursuit of happiness. Now, extra credits may say it's an art, but no, it's not. It may contain pieces of art, such as the graphics, the designs, the things you see on screen. It may contain music, songs, scores. It may contain these forms of art, but gaming itself is a service and a product that serves your inalienable right to the pursuit of happiness. Which can be summarized very coarsely with the word agency. Now, everybody in the gaming industry, if you clicked on this video your own self, thank you. Um, if you decided to view this video because a lot of people were sharing it with your company's uh, associated email for customer feedback, thank you. You in the gaming industry, all of you, it is your responsibility as game designers and developers to design the options, to design the game, its mechanics, to support and endorse and to promote everyone to think creatively about and exercise their inalienable right to the pursuit of happiness, to exercise their agency. Oh. It is very important. It is very important that you do this. Oh, excuse me. Because gaming is in trouble right now. Yeah, the the government steps in and says, "Okay, we're we're doing things like with loot boxes." Yeah, that, that's a very bad sign. You don't want government laws and regulations to be made to do something when you're supposed to have the self-control, the honor, the discipline, the respect, 
and the care and concern for your fellow being to promote and think about these things and have the foresight to see that these things need to be promoted and endorsed. All of humanity, you are very short-sighted. You, your, your ancestors for the American people, your forefathers, your founding fathers, whatever you want to call them, they set up these things that they stated and they were thinking beyond this this point right here on their face the the progression up until currently that point of thinking has shortened it's gone from into the future to very short-sighted and narrow-minded now, I intend on fully proving that the entire system, every rule, every law that's being put in place needs to be annulled. And the entire system needs to change because, well, think of it this way. The internet is an all if null of society. Just like um, there was another video on YouTube somebody did this video stating how art was uh, the progression of art mirrored the progression of reality so in that regard it's an all if null of society and then you uh, you go to the internet information goes much faster so it's it's an even more compact all if null of society and things go real quickly in online settings I mean I don't want to get into too many more details but the um, the, the progression of a community online is an all if null a very small version of society holistically you can use that as an example to say okay if if we back off if we stop constraining people and we allow them to exercise their self-control their uh, their free will their agency if we let them do that and we simply tell them okay, these are the things that we would like for you not to do Especially when it conflicts with someone else's. If you just back off and let people exercise their freedoms, it'll go a long way. Just, just look at everything and think. How is what's going on affecting people? Just look at society. Society is falling apart because people are getting more rules, more laws, more constraint, more punishment. We don't need more punishment. We need to let people exercise their self-control. People need to be trained to exercise their self-control. So, how do you start with that? The best way to explore that possibility is with gaming. It's, it's a very small, all-if-null version of reality. It's a virtual reality. Literally, it's, it's an accelerated progression of what reality would go through if it could be accelerated and right now it's in a very bad place we've got 
government regulation being imposed for something that never should have happened and that's loot boxes this is because loot boxes are because the gaming industry as a whole wants to make money to pay investors who have decided to own a share of the company through stocks some of the things I said in my previous YouTube channel were pay me a bunch of money I'll buy up all the stocks and then reinvest the money right back into the company as a donation and I'll tell them okay you make games this way and you don't worry about the money because I own all the stock I bought it all up I'm just putting the money right back into your company so that you can make these games the way they're supposed to be made the way where they promote everyone's agency they allow everyone to explore the infinite possibilities in infinite combinations even if it's an all of null and in that context mathematically that all of null phrase is uh, used literally for its literal sense instead of the metaphor of exploring the society societal progression in online versus how it's mirrored in real life you know this may seem deep but for me it's all real simple for me being as intelligent as and wise and learned as I am everything is an equation life is a very simple equation in my eyes I can see and calculate it very efficiently and I'm gonna be honest with you there's some things that need to be done simply for the sake of introducing um, chaos theory into the equation for the sake of balance the equation needs to be balanced we'll get into that later but right now I would like to focus on gaming and I would like to prove that my way of thinking my way of doing things is in fact as I know what's best for everyone that may sound arrogant or impertinent but you don't reach the level of intelligence and wisdom that I have accomplished in a very very short span of time you don't reach that level of wisdom and try to pander to the crowd so for the sake of pop cultural reference this may be dated but then again it, it's a universal truth <clears throat> just like Rick Sanchez said in Rick and Morty I'm an intelligent person and being nice is something that dumb people do to hedge their bets basically being nice is nothing more than sucking up you have to be blunt and direct and honest and open it may seem mean and rude and to people who don't have my level of intelligence and wisdom it it seems very rude and very abrupt but the simple truth of it is I'm not gonna lie to you and I'm not gonna pander to your sensibilities because your personal opinion is something that you need to discard in favor of the truth and searching for all of the information before you start to speak about things I can't give you all the information because I understand that the mind needs to develop and grow and discover things for itself 
and humanity at its current state of growth, development, and evolution needs to discover a few things for itself. But, what I'm telling you to do with gaming is something you can use later as a proof that what I'm saying is absolutely 100% the truth. Because it'll show you that less rules, less rigidity, less constraining, less confinement, less punishment is what's best. So, game developers, game designers, when you see this, think about what I've said. Think about gaming as a service and a product that serves everyone's agency, everyone's free will, everyone's pursuit of happiness, everyone's creative thinking process, especially with Minecraft. I mean, I spent all that time getting those enchant levels. I should be able to put mending and infinity on a bow if I want. That's my pursuit of happiness. How would you go about pursuing your happiness? Think about it, make a list, and then look at that list and say all of these things need to be either on a sliding scale that includes a cutoff number at triple or quadruple nine for the sake of limitations of the game's uh, engine and then the program capabilities, and then it needs to jump from that to infinite for certain things infinite ammo or such examples and then the other things that don't go on a sliding scale need to be set to a toggleable option on or off for either the player or all of the players involved now, better yet just make it an option for each individual player that way what you turn off affects what you do and you let someone else who's gaming with you choose which options they're going to play with and game designers and developers tell everyone honestly that you're gonna set the defaults to a certain position to compel and progress the narrative the storyline that you want to tell in that game this is a very simple thing to do and quite honestly I personally want to oversee and micromanage that process in recreating an entire game series I want to start with Dead Space I want to show everybody how intricate this is and how much it opens up the game beyond just the storyline beyond beyond just having fun in the game having all these extra things gamers shouldn't be punished for choosing to use the dev console commands gamers uh, should be endorsed for doing that there should be an achievement as far as uh, Xbox is concerned that uh, endorses people to use their creative and free thinking process to exercise their free will to exercise their agency their inalienable right to the pursuit of happiness people should be rewarded for doing what's right instead of constantly being punished for doing what's wrong this thing that I'm talking about beyond the gaming it's what's needed for all of society I know this is absolutely the truth I'm not gonna shy away from it I'm not gonna pander to the crowd I'm not gonna dumb down what I'm saying I'm simply gonna let you think about it and it's more of a funneling you into thinking a certain way which is what's desperately needed in society
what else is there I get the feeling I'm missing something <clears throat> oh yeah everybody don't just like comment share and subscribe don't just go and support me on patreon share this video with the uh, the feedback the uh, the little chat boxes where you can go and chat with people on the, the websites for these the games and whatnot share this with Microsoft and Sony and uh, Nintendo share this with everybody in the gaming industry don't just go out and spam them share this video with their business emails and their personal emails if you know them get the word out spread the word what I've said will help all of everyone everywhere greatly not just humanity limited to this planet it'll help everyone greatly That's it. Get the word out. Spread this video everywhere. I said a lot. It's probably going to take a while for everyone to think about it. So while you're sharing, think about it. Till next time, everyone. Bye.